as promised, we've managed to get into a slightly better position to see this beautiful bull. And he's listening to something. Now, they might not talk a lot, but if you listen, they do say a lot with their body and their ears. Now, if you think at how tall a giraffe can get, I have heard of males getting up to six, six meters tall, but that's not the norm. Generally speaking, males will get maybe four, four and a half meters. But they've obviously got their eyes right up on top of the head so they can see much further than most animals in the bush. So they usually are pretty quick to spot things. Yes, I'm talking about you. I hope you like what I'm saying. You've got beautiful eyes. So they can see for pre pretty far, so it's very difficult to actually creep up on a, um, a giraffe. And especially if they've got their ears looking forward, which is an alert position, that means that they have seen something. And especially if a giraffe is alert, they're, even though most things can't harm them, they will still be alert for lion, especially. I have seen them being alert for a leopard, with it being a large cat. And occasionally you do hear of leopard taking out, especially young giraffe. An adult giraffe is going to be quite difficult for them. So if you're able to find a giraffe and look, if they are showing that alert position, see where they're looking. Quite often they're spot on that there is something there. So that's why I always listen to a giraffe. Now the white, you might think, why do they have white ears? If you look at the rest of the body, it's dark, especially with this bull, they do get darker with age. Generally speaking, males get darker than females. But you can see there's the light brown or beige in between. So why would they have white ears? Maybe have a think about that. And the ears are quite small compared to those of elephants and other animals. Why might they have white ears? Hashtag Safari Live if you think you know the answer. <laughs> 